Last time on Padme Didn't Die of a Broken Heart, we learned that according to this theory, Palpatine could have ended the rebellion at any time by sucking the life force out of Mon Mothma, Bail Organa, Garmbel Eblis, General Riken, Admiral Akbar, Crix Maydeen, Luke Skywalker, Wedge Antilles, freaking all of the higher ups. Why didn't he do that if he was able to? Freaking idiot! <sighs> this time, we learn his one irrefutable fact that I will refute. Irrefutable fact that no one can deny. There is no other way Palpatine would have known what had what's happening to Padme. This is a weird point. This is a weird point to make, but let's read it. Padme was taken to a secret location hidden from the Emperor and Vader. Palpatine was pretty busy in the events following his duel. He picked up Anakin and rebuilt him. If he wasn't killing Padme from afar, why? Oh, why would he be aware of her death? There would be no news of it so suddenly. It had only happened seconds before he told the news to Anakin. This is a linchpin in the Palpatine's whole plan. The part that he would enslave Vader forever in his despair. He had, she had to die right then or else Vader would never truly be committed to the Emperor. This movie and subsequent movies also show that neither Vader or Palpatine knew anything of her location or the birth of Vader's children. The Emperor's power was at the height of non-omniscience. Well, he could have lied. He, he could have lied. I mean, even Vader questions him. I I couldn't have. She was alive. And even if it turned out that she was alive and somehow he would have found out, the Emperor probably would have found out first and been like, Oh, shit! Uh, commandos, go kill her! And she would have been dead anyways. Her being dead would have helped him much more than her being alive. And I understand that's also this guy's point, but it isn't necessary. It isn't necessary for her to be, for her to actually be dead, for the Emperor to tell him that she is dead. And even in a way to keep it so that it's not technically a lie because the Emperor does bend the truth a lot. The fact that Palpatine knew about Padme's death is the one big huge giveaway that he was involved. And she did not die of a broken heart. I, I think I have shown that it is possible for her to have died of a broken heart. Um, the broken heart syndrome combined with the uh, strains of childbirth very well could have killed her. Uh, that is a possibility. Once this deciding piece of evidence is giving aw given away, the rest of the details previously shown to you all fall into place. But don't take my word for it. Watch the movie. It's all there. There. This is less of a theory than it is just a close watching of a film with many, many layers to uncover. I'm just going with the facts here. So please... Please stop talking about murderous broken hearts in Revenge of the Sith. The film deserves better treatment than that, and you deserve to watch this classic one more time. So I'll just finish up with what we have here. So I have actually shown that she could have died from a broken heart. That is a very distinct possibility. There seems to be a couple different types of theories. There are the innocuous theories that don't add or take away from anything. They don't do anything. They don't explain anything. They just are kind of there. This is not one of those. There are the, the theories that think 
they are adding to the Star Wars universe, but are in fact making it worse. By saying something like this, uh, it may seem it may seem innocent or that you're attempting to make the Star Wars universe more interesting, but the fact is you're making the Star Wars universe smaller. You're making it less interesting. You're making everything interwoven when it's a huge freaking tapestry. It's a beautiful big universe and you get the same problem in Star Wars books where you have a new character that the author wrote up and he has it in the Star Wars universe. This, this is really awesome. And then suddenly they meet Luke Skywalker. He's just fucking there. And you're like, um, why? Why does he need to be there? What's the purpose? It could be anyone else. It, it doesn't have to be Luke Skywalker, but they're adding it in because it needs to be more like Star Wars. And this kind of falls into that category. The last of them are theories that actually do add to the Star Wars universe. And this is where things are left unexplained and then are explained. This makes the Star Wars universe smaller. It makes it less important. By saying that it had to be the force that killed Padme, and it couldn't have been a medical condition that actually exists, saying that it has to be the force is taking away from the Star Wars universe. It's making it smaller, and I dislike that. I disdain it. You're not adding to anything. But the other thing that I want to bring up is actually, there's a chance that Padme didn't even die. There's a chance that she wasn't actually dead in Revenge of the Sith. And this is supported, this is actually supported by a line of dialogue in the movies. Yeah. Do you remember your mother? Your real mother? Just a little bit. She died when I was very young. What do you remember? Just images, really. Feelings. Tell me. She was very beautiful. Kind, but sad. So Luke actually says, do you remember your mother? Your real mother? Now, if it had just been, do you remember your mother, and that was it, okay, that probably just means Organa. But, if Luke knew, if she knew that Luke was her brother, which she says she, she had known for a little while, if she, then, thus she knew that Vader was her father. She can assume that Organa wasn't her true father. She could assume that she wasn't her mother. So could it have been, could it have been that Padme didn't die? That she was in a coma? That when they're wheeling her through the streets, she's not dead. She's in a coma. I'm not saying I'm not saying that it is a perfect theory. I'm not saying that it's a great theory. I'm not even saying that it's one that you should truck with. If you don't believe it, sure, that's fine, whatever, don't believe it. But I'm saying it is a possibility because of what Leia Organa just said. Because of how Luke phrased that question. If she was talking about Organa, if she was talking about her mother Organa, why do you think she would say that she was sad, that all of that, why would she be like that? She has her father. The theory goes also along with, it goes along with this whole thing that Padme would have to stay in hiding, that Padme would not be able to come out into the open because if she did, then the Emperor would find her, kill her, and probably extract the information about the children and kill them. She would know how, that she would have to stay in hiding. I could be completely wrong. I accept that. But it is also completely possible that she did not die and and at that point you either have to you either have to assume that Blair didn't know who her true mother who her real mother was, which is a big possibility, of course. Uh 
and Padme did die there, or you have to assume that Leia is lying about it, which doesn't make any sense really any way that you fold it, so whatever. But the way that she talks about it and the way that he phrased that question makes me think she did know her real mother and that Padme was claimed dead so that the Emperor wouldn't try to kill her, but she was actually alive. I find that interesting to think about. And here's the difference between the theory that I came up with and this theory that exists. The difference is what it does to the extended universe. In my theory, nothing changes. There's a small fact that Padme is presumed dead and everything is exactly the same, that she didn't actually die in childbirth and i remember watching the movie trying to think okay well how does this make sense well i guess she definitely could have been in a coma or they could just be making a show of it so that she's not hunted down which making a show of it would make sense so that she wouldn't be hunted down and murdered it doesn't detract from the other half of the universe the original trilogy and it would mean that it doesn't contradict with a a very heartfelt and big line from Return of the Jedi. It doesn't change the game. It doesn't change anything. In conclusion, the likelihood of the Emperor killing Padme from God knows how far away, from a terrific amount of distance away, not knowing where she is, not knowing where to direct his powers, not knowing any of that, is unlikely at best and laughable laughably moronic at worst whereas and her actually dying of a combination of complications during childbirth and broken heart syndrome uh, and just the strain on her heart was too much and it gave out and she died is plausible uh, I would say it is downright the most likely scenario. Exactly what we were given in the movie is the most likely scenario. And then my version of it, my my small theory. At best, it's possible. At, at worst, it's again laughable because we see her die. Plaus it has a lot more plausibility than this. Again, I truly enjoy seeing Star Wars fan theories. I like them. They make me happy to read through and make me a little bit happier to debunk. Anyways, I hope that you got a good amount of information from from this uh, debunk theory. I hope you enjoyed watching me go through it. And if you do, if you do agree with me, let me know by hitting that like button down below. If you disagree with me, please comment down in the description and tell me why. I would like to see a full reasoning as to why you think I'm wrong and have an intellectual conversation about it. Or if you like my theory, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'm going to continue doing Star Wars fan theory debunkments because, well, I enjoy them. They are rather entertaining. So if you guys have a specific Star Wars fan theory that you want me to look into and uh, prove or disprove its validity, go ahead and again let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to continue watching more of my Star Wars fan theories debunkments, go ahead and click the subscribe button because there will be more coming out soon. Anyways, I, ho I do hope that you guys like this video. And always remember... Sometimes villains are actually just misunderstood and not monstrous.